Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. Today, we have an exciting tutorial for you. We'll be showing you how to install Ubuntu 22.04 LTS on VirtualBox running on Windows 11. So, let's dive right in. To get started, you'll need to download the Ubuntu 22.04 LTS ISO file from the official Ubuntu website. Open your web browser and navigate to ubuntu.com. On the home page, you'll find the download section. Click on it. On the download page, you'll see the recommended version of Ubuntu, which is currently 22.04 LTS. Click on the download button next to it. Next, download VirtualBox from the official website and install on your Windows 11 machine. You should enable virtualization before you install VirtualBox. Check the video in the description on how to enable virtualization on your computer. If you don't enable virtualization, the virtual machines won't work or boot up. Open VirtualBox and create a new virtual machine. Click on the New button to start the process. In the New Virtual Machine Wizard, you'll be prompted to give your virtual machine a name. You can choose any name you like. Also browse to the Ubuntu 22.04 ISO image you downloaded earlier. Don't skip the unattended installation as it will make the installation process easier. Enter a username and password for an account you're going to use to log into your Ubuntu. Also enter a host name for your machine and domain. These are optional though. Make sure to tick the text box so that guest editions will be installed. Guest editions is a set of additional software and drivers that can be installed inside a virtual machine running on VirtualBox. These additions provide enhanced functionality and improved integration between the host, your physical machine and the guest, the virtual machine. Here are some key features and benefits of guest editions in VirtualBox. Enhanced display. Guest editions enable better display settings and graphics performance within the virtual machine. It includes features like automatic screen resizing, seamless mouse integration, and support for higher screen resolutions. Now, let's configure the memory size. The recommended memory size for Ubuntu 22.04 LTS is 2GB, but you can allocate more if you have sufficient resources on your host machine. Make sure the memory stays in the green line. You can also increase the number of processors. For now, leave it at the default. You can change these settings and experiment later on after the installation is done. Sometimes you will find that the host system will start hanging if you give too much resources to the virtual machine. Next, specify the size of the virtual hard disk. The default should be sufficient for a basic Ubuntu installation. But feel free to allocate more if you need it. Review the summary of your virtual machine settings and click on the Finish button to create the virtual machine. Congratulations! You've successfully created a new virtual machine for Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. Now, let's proceed with installing Ubuntu. If you have a slow internet connection turn it off as the installation will take much longer while it tries to download updates from the internet. You can update the system after the installation. Sit back and relax while Ubuntu is being installed. The progress bar will indicate the installation status, and it may take a few minutes to complete. You'll be greeted with the Ubuntu login screen. Enter the password you set during the installation process and press Enter to log in. Congratulations! You've successfully installed Ubuntu 22.04 LTS on VirtualBox running on Windows 11. You can now explore and enjoy the Ubuntu operating system within your virtual machine. Enable features like Shared Clipboard. Shared Clipboard is a feature in VirtualBox that allows you to share the clipboard contents between the host, your physical machine and the guest the virtual machine. 
It enables you to easily copy and paste text and files between the two systems, making it convenient for transferring data and information. That wraps up our tutorial on how to install Ubuntu 22.04 LTS on VirtualBox in Windows 11. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more useful tutorials like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.